Bo and Luke Duke are driving in the General Lee, a famous sports car, and Cooter is driving the pickup truck as shown in the figure below. Both vehicles are moving with initial velocities of 15 meters per second. When the light changes to yellow, both vehicles are 30 meters from the entrance of the intersection. Bo hits the gas and experiences an acceleration of positive 7 meter per second squared. Cooter hits the brakes and has an acceleration of negative 3.2 meters per second squared. Part A asks us, if the light changes to red at t equals 3 seconds, who made the better decision? There is no physics equation for decision. What we're going to have to do is formulate an appropriate question that helps us decide whether the, the decision to hit the gas is appropriate or whether the decision to hit the brakes is appropriate. Let's think about that for a moment because we need to define what is success. If you hit the gas you need to leave the intersection before the light changes to red. And so what we would like to do is we would like to ask in the case of the car where they hit the gas, where was the car located when the light changed to red? If that answer is greater than 40 meters from the starting point, then we conclude that hitting the gas was a good decision. If on the other hand, that location is less than 40 meters away from where the car begins, then the light has changed red before the car exited the intersection, and that means it's a bad decision. So, in the case of the car, we formulate the question. The question is, where is the car? That is the X location of the car, under the condition T equals 3 seconds. As indicated by the question, we need to call upon a relationship between position and time. That relationship is this one, where because there are two objects in this problem, both the car and the truck, we've been very careful to label all positions, velocities, and accelerations with a subscript indicating we're talking about the car. The text of the problem itself indicates that the acceleration is positive 7 meter per second, and that the initial velocity of each vehicle is 15 meters per second. We need, however, to deal for a moment with the initial position. We can make any choice that we want. If we call x equals 0 to be the location of both the car and the truck, then x0 for the car and x0 for the truck will both be 0. We would then compare our answer to 40 meters. We could choose x equals 0, at the entrance to the intersection, meaning that both the car and the truck would have a negative 30 meters as their initial position, and we will compare our answer to 10 meters, or we could even use the exit of the intersection as x equals 0, meaning that the car and the truck had minus 40 meters as their initial position. We would compare the position of the car to x equals 0 after formulating that answer. However, it seems most logical in this problem to set x equals 0 at the initial location, and therefore x0 of both the car and the truck are 0. Plugging these into the expression, we find this expression for x of the car at t equals 3 seconds. Finishing the algebra, we find that the position of the car at t equals 3 seconds is 76.5 meters, meaning that the decision to hit the gas was a good one because the car was well clear of the intersection prior to the light changing. Now let's ask ourselves what would be the condition under which the decision to hit the brakes in the truck was a good decision. You may be tempted to ask the location of the truck at t equals 3 seconds, but I hope to convince you that that's irrelevant because when you hit the brakes, it doesn't matter where the truck is as the light turns from yellow to red. The truck could be 10 meters from the intersection at that moment, 5 meters from the intersection at that moment, 2 meters from the intersection at that moment, and all of that's fine. 
However, if you're in a condition where hitting the brakes is a poor decision, the reason it's a poor decision is that you are unable to stop before entering the intersection. Thus, when analyzing the truck and deciding whether it is a good decision to hit the brakes, we would like to know the x of the truck, not at the time t equals 3 seconds, but when the velocity of the truck has become 0, meaning where does the truck stop? If this answer is anything less than 30 meters, it was a good decision to hit the brakes. However, if this answer is beyond 30 meters, hitting the brakes was a bad decision because you were unable to stop prior to entering the intersection. As formulated, we can see that answering our own question will require a relationship between position and velocity, and that relationship is what we typically call the third equation. Formulated carefully, such that all positions, accelerations, and velocities have a subscript indicating we're dealing with the truck, this equation can be simply solved by plugging in the known initial conditions, the acceleration of negative 3.2 meter per second squared, and finding out what is the position. When we do so, we get the following result. Once again, we've selected the origin of our coordinate system where the truck begins, and because of that reason, x0 truck is 0. Solving this expression, we find that x of the truck when it stops is equal to 35 meters, which is the worst of all possible cases. The truck was unable to stop until, in fact, it was centered in the intersection itself, likely causing an accident. Thus, we find that the good decision was to have hit the gas, and the bad decision was to have hit the brakes. Interestingly, having taught physics for 20 years, I've seen many editions of many textbooks which often include a problem just like this, whether the decision to hit the gas or the decision to hit the brakes is the good one. Curiously, not a single textbook has ever found that hitting the gas is a good decision. They always find that hitting the brakes is a good decision, but that isn't true in real life. If you don't have enough distance to stop, don't hit the brakes, hit the gas, and get well clear of the intersection before the light turns to red. Finally, there is a second part to this question, and that is... What is the velocity of the car as it leaves the intersection? Well, clearly we are asked for the velocity of the car. This is so far an ill-formed question. We can't simply ask what's the velocity of the car. We need to ask for the velocity of the car under a specific condition. And leaving the intersection is when x of the car is equal to 40 meters, using the origin as indicated originally. To solve this question, we'll require that we formulate the velocity-position relationship for the car, plug in x equals 40, and see what we get for the velocity. Using all the appropriate values, this is the expression that we get. As we take the square root, we remember that plus or minus is a possibility whenever you take a square root. However, since the car will clearly be traveling to the right as it exits the intersection, we take the plus version of the square root, and the resulting velocity is... 28 meter per second significantly faster than the initial velocity so perhaps Bo could have made the intersection without hitting the gas quite so hard.